Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another one all about tips for developing your child's language. Um, I actually did another one of these videos for 12 to 18 months so if you haven't seen that yet I will link it in the description box below. Okay so I've actually got six tips for you today. Um, let's get started shall we? The first tip is all about books. I talked about this a lot in my last video and it is still really really important. Um, I think it's the number one thing that you can do to help your child develop is to read books. Now I wanted to mention a couple of things here. Uh, firstly, don't worry if your child is picking the same book every night. Alex does this a lot and it's really, really normal and actually quite good for them. There's a man called Pi Corbett, feel free to look him up. He's a bit of a teacher guru on all things English and language development and he really promotes the internalisation of story structures, so knowing stories off by heart and talks about how important it is for children to be able to retell stories before they can create their own. So reading the same story over and over again is not a bad thing, in fact it's a brilliant one because your children will be picking up all of that language and joining in too. Okay, tip number two is to start to add some shades of meaning to things that you're saying. So. In the last video I talked a lot about keeping things simple, now I think it's time to start straying away from that. So whereas before I talked about just sticking to one word for things, now talk about all the different types of words. So for a stick to drink, we talked about drink last time, I would say to Alex that it's water or it's milk or it's juice or it's in his cup or it's in his beaker or in a bottle or whatever it is start to add in all of those different kinds of words. You can also start to add in some describing words, so things like colour, so talking about things being a red car, a blue car, or it belonging to somebody, so it's mummy's car or daddy's car, all of those things where you're starting to link words together, they will start to pick up on at this age. Tip number three is to expand on what your child is saying. For example, if they're pointing out to you, say, a dog, say, oh yes, it's a very big dog, it's a black dog, a brown dog, try and add in all of that different language, what the dog's doing, um, whether it's friendly, whether it feels furry, all of those different words will be going into them. Okay, tip four is to start asking your child some questions and start just using what and where. Questions like how and why at this age would be too complicated for them, but they can start telling you what something is or where something is, and you can do this again while you're reading. So what point at something and ask what it is, or ask them where is the cat, and see if they can find it in the book. Tip number five is try and model sentences. So if your child says, Daddy gone, say, yes, Daddy has gone, Daddy has gone to work. And that way you're just modelling to them what a full sentence sounds like. And then tip number six has been a really important one for Alex, and that is to give them a way to ask for you rather than to get cross when they're feeling frustrated. So Alex quite often gets frustrated and he will scream, so I've been trying to encourage him to use the word help. I just kept it really simple to start with, and I just went up to him and I would say, Mummy help, and I would then do something to help him. And gradually he started to understand what the word help meant. So I would just be able to say to him, Alex, would you like some help? And he would say yes. And now we've got to the point where rather than getting cross, he will actually say help. And I'm a bit, I'm a bit fussy with this. If he's crying now, um, and I don't mean really distraught crying, I mean, you know, sort of whingy crying, I ignore him until he asks and says help. Because I want really to encourage him to be using the language that I know that he now has. However, I wouldn't have done that before he could do it for himself, if that makes sense. I hope so. Okay, so I hope that's been useful. Um, let me know if you've got any other tips for helping your child with their language at this age. I'm always keen to hear different ideas. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.